stuff from Pixar. Somewhere I've got a magazine that shows that I got an award from a list boyfriend, but it doesn't matter. I'll tell you the truth. Um, they thought I was in my second year of college, but I was in actually my sixth year of college. I was in my second year of my degree of my, um, I think I, I had an associate's before I had my bachelor's degree. Oh, poor Larry. I wonder what Larry Rose is doing these days. Yeah. yeah. And all this stuff. Going back over this stuff, I just wanted to show it to you. One last go round. The only... Hey, you know, this will be fun. Since this is the only... Static. Now, what I got to do is I got to take the soft homage right here, and that code, and like give everybody copies of the soft homage. I should put this up on uh, on torrent, and then everybody can download their own copy of soft homage. But I mean, the thing is, is it's an old version of soft homage, and Man, Blender kicks its ass by now. I mean, there's nothing that this version of Sautomage does that uh, would even compare to what Blender can do. That was the, I think this was a, this came out about the time of, let's see if there is a, in a year on this thing from that it was released. But it also includes all the soft homage content that was came out with that. And they were very, they were not really so uh, great on the idea of people getting this copy. I really had to push some, pull some strings to get them to give me my uh, copy of soft homage. With, uh, how I got it was that it was a special deal that if you got a graphics card, you would get a copy of soft homage with it. And I paid, it was a Fire GL card, and I paid the $500 for the card, or something like that, just so that I could get the copy of Soft Dimash, which came for free with it. And it was not only, in what really drew me to it was that it was a DRM-free version of a Soft Dimash, that one where you installed it using a code on the card, but you didn't, uh, you didn't have to validate with them online, and uh, it was forever free. I mean, it was forever available. Um, let's see, uh, sometimes I'll I'll do that whenever I'll just buy something just for the for the the principle, you know. But um, anyhow. When this is uh, not Blender, this is Toy Story. Pixar is about as much proof as I got that I was ever involved in anything. I was not involved with Toy Story. I was involved with throwing, throwing my Rise of the Thorax animation at their doorstep trying to get a job. And they said, we don't have anybody that has your qualifications. Yeah, I guess there isn't very many computer science degree types with minors in arts, and I was close to being a double major in art and computer science. I, I could have had some math in there, but I'm not very good at math. So I did art. I did computer science and art. Um, what that does, what that really means is that means that I can see things that your regular programmer can't. Um, I can, I'm a visionary. I can see the future. And the future of uh, VR is that uh, Hollywood is fucked. You know why? Because you don't, you can't use telephoto lenses anymore. 
in real life. Um, every the only people who are who are, are sources of content are people on stage, live actors. You can't use stunt doubles. People can recognize that. You can cut video, but people can, because there's so much more information available to their eyes, they can see all the things that are missing between cuts. So you have to be really, really um, careful as a filmographer and as an editor. And it's it's harder to manipulate uh, 3D um it's easy to manipulate 2D. I was trying to have that discussion with someone tonight who said, oh, yeah, but you could r remove the guide wires in both shots. You can also detect that there's something was removed in both shots with your eye because your brain is that smart. And so you have to be very friggin' care careful with the medium. And all the cinematographers, I bet Spielberg knows is this, that uh, there's no way they're going to be able to work in this space in in re reality, show me your best stuff you can do, you guys. The stuff I've seen, even Spielberg's work, um, I've seen his, his. Uh, he did some sort of movie with uh, with uh, stereo, uh, stereo uh, for photography or whatever, and there were shots in there where he was using telephoto lenses. I said, no, you can't use telephoto lenses. It makes the content look like cardboard cutouts. So. Anytime I see that in 3D imagery, anytime I see that in a stereo movie, I go, you guys do not get it. You can't do that anymore. All you can use are macro lenses in, in 3D. That's the reason why nobody wants to touch it with the 10-foot pole in, in Hollywood. And if it ever takes off, there's nothing they can do. They can't hide their, their, they can't hide their camera crew behind a VR a VR. 180 camera they can't hide their camera crew be between behind a 360 they can probably stitch it up but you can see the stitches you know so it's very tough to manipulate vr what is it good for it's good for people who are who have um what i like to call tangible skills they have they can work with stuff they can sword swallow they can do they can do acts with in front of you, magicians. All the people that got screwed by Hollywood are going to screw Hollywood. You know, all vaudevillian performers, um, musicians, uh, rock bands, um, anybody that can do something in front of a camera within 10 meters is going to do more in VR than Hollywood could ever do, okay? Plus, uh, Fox News, you're fucked too. You know why? Because journalism with VR is harder to fake, okay? So whenever somebody shows up at, whenever we we go, we got uh, Trump saying that he had so many people as inaugural or whatever, um, and some if there were people with VR cameras in the crowd and they published what they had there, there's nothing you can you can't hide that you can't you can't Photoshop the image you can't do shit with that content. Um, VR you can't manipulate. VR is absolute truth. VR one eighty is absolute truth. That's the reason why I'm using this camera. It's not so much that it's stereo. It's that I was here doing this at this is exact time, and there are no edits in this video. I could edit the content, but then there would be cans and stuff missing from the shot. You could see that it was an edit that I cut. I made a cut. And you can see everything in my view. You know where everything, you know, you know it's an original view. I could turn the camera around. You can see there's nobody behind me, you know. Um... The only way you can manipulate VR is in CG. So in CG, you can lie as much as you want in CG. You can't lie at all in RL VR. Okay. So reality, real life VR. You can't with a camera like this. You could go and you could take a you could be a photojournalist, a journalist that get is shunned by every single journalism department. Um, you turn around 
take this camera, go to a live event, something, some guy's beating up on somebody. You take a pic, take a video with it, with your VR camera. You put it up on YouTube, you know, and you can put riot. And then people would see around there and say, there's no riot. It's just one guy beating up on it. But if it really was a riot, everybody would see it, that it was a riot. And they would be able to determine that from the video. There wouldn't, you wouldn't have to say a thing about it. You wouldn't even have to put a, a headline. They would know what was going on there. So the thing, whenever the, the conservatives say, um, or the Republicans, they say, um, liberal media uh, is false. Uh, it's all a lie. Take your VR cameras to Trump's rallies. Take your VR cameras anywhere Trump doesn't want you to. Videotape it all from start to end. Don't cut it. Put it up on YouTube. F screw that fucking president, okay? He's, he's screwed. VR, you can't fake VR, okay? VR is going to fuck you guys. It's going to, it's going to bring news back with a vengeance. Uh, Fox don't have anything on VR. It, you can't call VR liberal media. It's truth, you know? Anytime truth, anytime you put truth out there, then they, they call it liberal media because they do, it doesn't meld with their worldview, okay? Fuck your worldview. This is truth. VR is going to screw the conservatives. This is going to screw every single in, uh, company in existence um, in every way. VR is going to do it because we're going to be able to see behind the scenes what your executives are doing. You know, all you need is somebody to spy around with a VR camera to collect that information. And that's what Zuckerberg knows. Zuckerberg is investing heavily in this because he knows it's going to take off. And it's going to be the number one source of information in America. It is what's going to make America great, not Trump.